Yo, what's going on everybody? Time for a draft. Saw a comment, decided, seems kind of cool. So let's do it. No X factors, no abilities, just players. So let's randomize the team. I'm pretty sure that my glasses just got all green screen. So my eyes are probably gonna get all messed up. I don't know why it does this. Maybe it doesn't even, I don't know. I know that sometimes it does get pretty bad, but other times it's, ha <laughs> gotcha. The wild, ooh, okay. We're gonna be the mini wild, but no, it does do that. It does, and it's kind of annoying. So I'm like, what am I doing wrong here? You know, do I just have to not wear glasses and not be able to see the screen? <laughs> Is that what I have to do? Anyway, owner mode off, fantasy draft, uh, yeah. Head coach edit lines, jabroni. How many times do I have to tell you? Fog of war, no. Player morale, nope. I've heard that's a pretty broken system. I don't know, it works, I don't, I don't know. I've had it on for like the last however many NHLs it's been in, honestly. I don't know how long it's been, but yeah, I've had it on. It's never really seemed that bad. And then I guess a lot of people don't use it because as I mentioned, maybe in a previous video as well, um, someone wasn't really aware that if you have morale on, a overall could drop drastically for your team. And then when you trade for them, it instantly spikes up. For example, the Raymond trade that I made in the... Houston Hammerheads, but anyway, I got way off topic there. Uh, CPUs, go ahead and trade all you would like. And I guess trade deadline, you know, it's just free will. I can do whatever I want, except I can't pick up players with abilities or X-Factors. So, uh, yeah, got the wild here. I don't think any of the rules and settings actually matter in terms of gameplay because we're not going to be playing anything. But I do want to turn injuries off because they are irritating. And advanced settings, I have to turn off a lot of the notifications. So stars only, stars only, yeah, I guess. Let me know. And why is this an option? Like, how conceited are you? I'm the only one that can... Have... I've said that before, but it just makes me angry. All right. Shouldn't even be an option. Uh, off. No, on. Yeah, of course. And then blockbuster trade alerts. Yeah, let me know. Probably only going to get one at the deadline like we always do, but let's start our career here, shall we? And see what pick we get. 12. I'm guessing 12 again. Oh, ho, ho. you know what? That's not that bad for a no X factor draft, actually. I will take that. Uh, Barkov doesn't have any, right? <laughs> yeah, of course not. Well, this could be tricky. Let me see what I can find. Kadri. 88 overall. Is the first one I found without any abilities. He's good. He's good. And he's on a 4.5 milli. Uh, he's not going to be gone. But no. Uh, I guess goalies. I can't take X-Factors or abilities either. Oh! Markstrom! Okay, that is huge. Igor! Igor did so good for us last time. Okay, I'm taking Igor and then I'm taking Kadri because he's still going to be there. We are literally two picks away. So, yeah. There's no way they took Kadri. Boom. Nice. All right. I like the way this is starting so far. Come on. There's no way. Oh, Tommy. Tim Winston. I could pick up Tim Winston. Ooh, Vladdy, though. That makes it hard. That makes it real tough. Terra Sank Show, 87 overall. 7.5 million. There's no way we're going to get Tim Winston because our next pick is going to be pretty... F Will it? No, actually. No, we should be able to get both of them. Let's see. <laughs> Maybe I'm completely like just screwing up the whole draft order here, but I don't think I am. Yeah, okay. We get Tim Winston as well. Back-to-back -back right wingers. I do need defensemen. Okay, he has a bunch of abilities. Latang as well is going to have an X factor. Yeah. Uh, Morrissey? Yep. Okay. Well, I'm just going to look here in the odd case. Kreider's having an absolute year and a half. Oh, you know what? Maybe I will take Kreider. As much as I want Tim Winston, unless he's not here. Like, is he gone? Or is there just a lot of 86 overalls? Yeah, he's still there. Troy Terry. Look at this guy go. 85 overall. He has been having a great year, to be fair. Okay, so. Hmm. This has not been made easy. Who's on our first line right now? Drafted players. So we have Kadri and Tarasenko, which I'm assuming is like maybe, yeah, a sniper for sure. And then a two-way forward. Okay. Kreider would fit into that. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to take Kreider. Let's see what happens here. I do need to get some defensemen ASAP. That is not even a question. And we're already down to 85. So yeah, all the 86s are basically gone. Let's start by defensemen and see who we can find. I don't even have one defender yet. Oh! 
OEL doesn't have any abilities. He's also making 7.2, but might be a risk we have to take. Yeah, I don't think we have a whole lot of choice here. What about Ekholm? He's going to have abilities. Okay. All right, OEL, welcome to the team. That is our first defensive pickup. I'd like to get him a partner. I would like to do that, so I'm going to try my best. Let's go to defenseman again and see who we could find here. Brent Burns doesn't have any either? Neither does EK? What? The only thing is, is their salary is outrageous. I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. Yeah, we'll have to make some cap-wise picks later, but I'm going to risk it right now. EK65. Killer doesn't have any abilities, and he's 4.4, which is kind of steep, but... Yeah, I don't know. We're just going to have to make... Like, our bottom six is going to be league minimum players. Okay, so... So far, though, I am very happy with how this is working out. Should I maybe take a goalie soon? I don't know. We probably have time. But... Last time I got James Reimer, I'm pretty sure he did amazing for me as a backup. And he's only 2.2. I'm going to grab him. We haven't drafted a whole lot of players, and we've already used $50 million in cap. That is a big yikes. Nick Letty's only making 2.7. I mean, don't get me wrong, that is a lot of money. But I just mean <laughs> compared to the other contracts. So let's pick up Nick Letty. As another defenseman, I'm basically just looking for cap-conscious picks right here. Boone Jenner. He's been having a year and a half. 3.7? Okay, sure. That's, uh, that's worth it. Cool. So, we're shaping up pretty nicely here, in my opinion. But once again, you guys know that when I draft teams and I have high expectations for them, I'm like, oh, we look pretty good. We end up sucking. So, I'm going to try my best... To not get too far ahead of myself here and just let the team speak for itself. But who should I grab? Lowry seems like he would be a good grab. Same with Savard. So anyone else? Gustafson, Rodriguez, Haula. Okay, so there's actually, we do have a lot of options for cap friendly deals. I'm going to load up down the center of the ice and pick up Getsy at uh, 3 million for another centerman. Okay, we need a right winger. Pretty bad. I mean, I guess we could just play a left winger on the right side, but why are they all making so much? What is up with that? All right, th thank you, Ryan Hartman. You know what? Just for being an absolute legend and having that contract, I am grabbing you. 1.7 milli and 82 overall. That is a good deal if I've ever seen one. Should I just grab Yandel? I mean, he is old, but... I have another idea. Let me try sorting by potential and just see if we can grab anyone who is like even 70 something overall, but they could grow throughout the year. No, 67 is too low. 76 isn't awful. We can make that work. Ryan Merkley, offensive defenseman. Yeah, I'm going to grab him. I'm, gonna just, I'm just going to do it. I've never even heard of this guy, but he's 79 overall. E2. I don't even want to give that last name a go right now. It's too early in the morning for that. So I'm going to grab him. I mean, that's our center's done. What kind of... It's a two-way forward. Perfect. Yeah. I think that's a, a solid player to obtain for our fourth line. I've seen this guy actually get up there in overall before as well. It's only 21. Holy. All right. I'm going to grab you for now. And then maybe I'm tempted. Nah. Let me start grabbing some... NHL ready. Well, I mean, he is 79 overall. He is NHL ready, so I take that back. But we've just taken two. Oh, you know what? Screw it. Let's just go absolutely crazy right now. The Wayne train. I might have to do it. He's Yeah, he's not going to have any abilities. All right, Wayne Simmons, welcome to the team. All right, Marty, I am... Putting you on the team. Let's see how it works out. Maybe you'll go up and overall. Maybe this team is going to be awful. I really have no idea what to expect. But, yeah, I mean, we still have $17 million of cap left. We only need two left wingers and two defensemen, and we're done. So, we don't have to be as cap conscious anymore. So, we can take Jeff Skinner. Nah, that's probably a bad idea. That would put us to about $8 million left. And I just don't see that as a good option. So, I'm not... not doing that right now. I also just double negatived. I said not not doing that. 
But that was because I stuttered. <laughs> so <laughs> don't uh, hold me to that. All right, what should we do here? There are some solid left wingers here on good deals. You know what? I am going to pick up Zach Sanford. Yeah. Yes, I am. Oh, Lucic. I might grab him as well. Well, anyway, I'm grabbing Sanford for now. I'm adding some grit to the team, and then we're going to have, like, give or take, probably five or four and a half million for our last two defensemen each. Not total. So that is good. Defensemen. All righty then. I'm hoping I haven't picked anyone with abilities. I'm pretty sure that I've been checking, and then some of the players I'm just quite confident, but... Yeah, we do have some wiggle room here. Who should we grab? Edler, maybe? He's a left. Okay, what do we have right now for defensemen? I do want to try and keep it three left, three right. So I know that Carlson's right and OEL is left. And then we got left and right. So I need one more left, one more right. And as that is the case, I am not grabbing a right winger. Oh, Hammerhead's legend. Uh, defense, I will be grabbing Edler. And then we need a right-handed defenseman for our last pick. Justin Braun, defensive defenseman, right-handed. What about Sherratt? No, he's left. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to grab Braun. 81 overall. That's solid. 1.8 million. We have cap space to spare. I'm very curious to see how this team turns out. So that is our team done. Sim the entire draft. I probably am going to have to, you know... Make sure that some of those players are on the roster because they might pick up. Uh, maybe not. We might be okay again. Some of them were fairly low in overall, but it doesn't look like they picked up anyone else who could take the spot. Unless uh, Carlson does. We'll just see. Okay, so it actually wants Kalorn on the first line. I'm assuming that is because he's a perfect fit for the first line. Tarasenko is the only one that doesn't really fit it, but it's still a plus one. Then we got Hartman, Getzlav, and Kreider. Let me just make sure we have no abilities on this team. Yeah, offensively we're good. And these all look like players I drafted. So I think we're mint in that regard. Boone Jenner just designed for that third line. Wayne Simmons not so much, but you know. I think he, yeah, he fits kind of good on the second line, but I prefer Hartman to be there. All right. Whoa. Move Wayne down. And try this guy up here with a plus one. Doesn't hurt. Can't hoit. All right, let's go to defense. Any abilities here? No, we're good. And we have a plus two with EK and OEL. <laughs> and then we have Braun and Letty with a zero. Merkley and Edler. Oh, that's rough. Okay, yeah, we'll leave it like that. That's good. Cool. Nice. So our scheme fit and line chemistry is there. You know, we're... Pretty solid in that aspect. And then we have Igor, who's going to carry the boys. Somehow has no abilities. That is just insane. Um, I also just updated the roster. I th uh, when was that? I don't know. I updated it now, but I have the latest roster. But as of today, uh, it's post-trade deadline and everything like that. It's the 25th of March. So, yeah, we should be okay. Nice. Well, I have faith in the boys. You know what? We're going to do well. I don't know how well, but I'm going to say we make the playoffs. Yeah, that fourth line is going to be unreal. Beautiful. Prediction time. I'm going to say Eric Carlson gets the most points. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to say he gets 80. Sounds absurd, but that's okay. And then I'm... Mm, how many wins? Let's go with 48. I have... Oh, uh, that's a good way to start. Well, you know what? <laughs> On second thought, guys... No, I'm going to stick to it. I'm sticking to my guns here. 48 wins and EK65, 80 points. Let's see what happens. I mean, we're not off to the best start in the world, but it could most certainly be worse. So, yeah, I'm actually pretty happy with how we're turning it around here. This is huge. Let's go, lads. The Avs have already fired their coach, Guy Devereaux, or Guy Devereaux. Could be either or. And Washington, come on. That's a huge win. Let's go, boys. 21, 12, and 6. That's not bad at all. We are looking pretty good. I mean, not incredible, but it's... Oh, man, we are 6th in the division. <laughs> Never mind. I thought we'd be doing better than that. Wow. All right. Biggest losing streak of all time. We got to climb back up there. I mean, it's not a huge gap, but 
We do have some ground to make up here. I think our division is just stacked right now because this is a record that, you know, would have you normally pretty high up in a division, I feel like. So I'm going to keep the current trading block. We will enter the deadline, but I don't know. Like, we're not doing bad. I kind of have faith in this team. Hurdle has abilities, I'm pretty sure. And Larson is the next best? Oh, wow. This is sort of a weak... What? No! I did not say this was allowed. I did not provision this. Okay, anyway. Uh, yeah, I'm not making any moves. I'm sticking to the team here. I think we can do it. Now, let's see if I'm right or not. Hurdle, Riley, and Yarncrook for a first and Beck. All right. I hope that's Mike Riley. Malkin, Falk, Forbert, Forbert, and a fifth for a first, a second, and Rodrigue. I have... A cool autograph from him, actually, back when I was doing those through-the-mail autograph requests, send things. I don't know, just send them pictures, use some website, and then, yeah, it just worked out. Got a couple autographs that way. Wow, we are first in the division. What a turn. Two more wins. Two more. We need to win these last two games. We ha How does that happen? How do we go on a... Six. A six-game losing streak to end the year. Like, grow up. We have the St. Louis Blues in round number one. Kadri had the most points with 87. Holy, he did well. So we ended up falling to second in the division with our... We could have probably won any of those games in the last six, and we would have finished first in the division. But anyway, the entire league, Carolina won the league... Well, won the President's Trophy with 51 Ws. They had four up on the next team. Yeah, they did well. 108 points. Okay, I'm just going to scroll down here. Was it top 16? Oh my, it actually was. All right, cool. Let's have a look at the individual stats. It's a big fall off after Kadri. He got 87. EK only put up 54. Okay, well, I was wrong. Tarasenko with 64. 63 out of OEL. Kalorin, 62. Uh, Boone Jenner, 58. Attaboy. Hartman, 55. Nice. Okay, so that is our team. Let's see if uh, Merkley went up at all. No, he's still 76. What about you? 77. He went up. I think it's only one overall, though. Or was he 74? I can't remember. Either way, he did go up. And uh, up to an 80 for E2. Let's go. Okay. Goalies. How'd you do, Igor? Yeah, he did well. 9 11, 261. 34, 19 and 5 with six shutouts. And then Jimbo, 12, 9 and 4, two shutouts, a 9 15 and 243. Yeah. Can always rely on him to be a solid backup. Okay. Let's have a look at Carolina. See who did so well on their team. They had Leon. Fair enough. Brendan Gallagher. Uh, Cop, Backlund, Nugent Hopkins. I am sort of lost as to why they did so. Nah, they have a good team. I take it back. Yeah. I mean, it's, it doesn't look that much better than ours. I'm being honest, but I maybe they know something I don't. Okay, they had Campbell and Ed who had a 918, 244. Regardless, let's check out the entire league, shall we? Boom. So yeah, Campbell had the most, obviously. And then Nadeljkovic at number two. He had a 910, uh, an 899 for UC with IC. That's a rough go. Uh, Vladar with a 911. But yeah, Campbell did the best. Bennington at 915. Clearly, he wasn't nervous. 40 wins on the year. Okay, let's have a look at forwards. We've got Connor McDubstep, McDusty with 105, Kucherov 102, Zib with 96. Okay, there you have it. That is the first page for forwards. And on defense, we've got Carlson with 71. Had a boy, Fox with a nice amount. Doughty 65, Barry 65. All righty. Oh, yells up there. He's right there on the first page. So that's nice. And for my next trick, I will get swept in the first round. Told you. Yep, it's pretty obvious. The Tampa Bay Lightning winning Stanley Cups even in fantasy draft land. Okay, well, let's see who they had on their team, shall we? Getsy! Three points in four playoff games. Not bad. View contracts. Let's go to the Lightning. The TB Bolts. Yeah, let's see who they have on their roster. 
Kane and Stamkos. That alone is just illegal. Yeah, he had 95 points. And uh, yeah, I just like, they both did crazy. Barry, 87 overall. Okay, I totally get why these guys won the Stanley Cup. This makes complete sense to me. And if we go to goaltending, they had, oh yeah. Yeah, okay. Good for them. They had a good draft. Gotta give credit where it's due. And now let's check out the awards. So we know that, we know that. And Calgary ended up making it to the finals against Tampa Bay. McDavid. Or as the in-game announcer likes to call him apparently, Mock David. With an Art Ross and a heart. OEL with the Norris. We didn't go home empty-handed. Lady Bing goes to Kucherov. Mercer with the Calder. Patrick Kane gets the Conn Smythe. Jack Campbell with the Vesna. Igor with the Jennings. We got two trophies. Nice. Kempney with the Masterton. Goddard with the Jack Adams. Barkov with the Selkie. McDusty with the Lindsay. And the Rocket Richard. All right. There you have it, guys. Playoff tree. I'll show you that real quick. Boom. We are the only series... Never mind. <laughs> the team that swept us got swept after that. And then I guess Carolina swept Philly over there. But anyway, we were the only first round sweep. Amazing. Gotta do that copy-paste Tampa Bay tweet. Regardless, I would consider that a success. I think we did well. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any other ideas, please let me know in the comments down below. And I will see you soon.